Do you also think Benedetta is hard to master? Well turn out, it's not that hard as we think. You will find easy to play Benedetta after watching this video, so make sure to watch till the end. Let's start the video with her passive. Elapsed daytime. When holding down the basic attack button, Benedetta enters the sword out state and keeps gathering the sword intent. If releasing the basic attack button after the sword intent is fully charged, Benedetta will use sword out slash in the direction she's facing and dash forward, dealing physical damage. This is a blink movement that allows Benedetta to go over walls, which makes her even more slippery. If you hold for too long the dash will cancel, and activate again when you rehold the attack button. First skill, Phantom Slash. Benedetta withdraws swiftly and leaves a shadow in front. After a short delay, her shadow slashes forward in a fan-shaped area, dealing physical damage and slowing the enemies for a moment. Meanwhile, she dashes forward to slash, dealing physical damage. If the target is hit by her shadow, not Benedetta, your damage to that target will increase twofold. This is your key skill that you should up whenever you can. Now let's talk about her second skill. Second skill, an eye for an eye. Benedetta raises her weapon to defend, gaining control immunity and blocking damage from any source for a moment. After this, she stabs in the designated direction, dealing physical damage. If she successfully fends off any damage while defending CC effects, the attacker will be stunned. Now finally her ultimate, Electo, final blow. Benedetta clenches Electo and slashes forward after a short delay, slowing all targets on the path for a second. She is untargetable during the dash. After dashing, she detonates the sword intent on the path, strangling the enemy with the sword intent for a few seconds, dealing physical damage and slowing the enemy. Now let's talk about builds and emblem, basically you can play her as a jungler or as AEXP laner, if you are using her as a jungler, you need high damage output, so you need full damage and penetration items, with Assassin Emblem. And if you are using her as EXP laner, you need to sustain the damage, so you need damage and a little defense as well, keeping fighter emblem will be best for her in east XP lane, so she can sustain the damage more effectively. Start with her passive to get close to target, then use ulti with petrify, then use first skill and second skill and again use passive to escape, now practice this until you get hang of it. Remember you need to get hang of her skills, after getting used to her skills and passive you can easily control her and use her skill according to requirement in the match, remember you need to practice yourself, if you don't practice yourself all the information you gather are useless. Before moving on, if my videos are helping you, support me by subscribing, now let's talk about tips and tricks, if you are using her in the fighter lane make sure to cut the lanes, she is high mobile hero, she can travel quickly so you can rotate to mid lane for help and again back to clear the waves of minions. Minion will spoon at 11 seconds and 41 seconds, so make sure to watch the time. You can know the enemy's minion location by looking at your minion waves, it will be at exactly same location as your minion's wave in opposite direction. If our minion wave are here, then enemy's minion wave will be here. 
If you play this hero for few days, you will easily master it, so keep practicing, I know there are many pro players out there if I miss any details. It would be great help if you share some tips in the comments section, thank you for watching, keep supporting.